friends! Welcome back to my channel, or just welcome if you're new. You see this hat? You see this mushroom hat? Well, today I thought I would do a little video showing you how I made it. I've seen a lot of love for mushrooms lately, which is awesome because I love mushrooms. So I thought it would just be a really cute idea to just have a mushroom type of hat. Almost like a, like a beret or what like a little fairy might wear out in the forest. So that being said, let me show y'all what I did to make this hat. Coming right up. So this is my pattern, and I'll show the measurements here. So six and a half from the top point to the bottom, and this is in inches by the way, ten inches, ten inches across the bottom and seven inches on the side. So you'll need to have four of these. And of course I'll do mine red. So I'll have four of these pieces. Also cut some white circles out of felt and I'll be sticking those on each of the triangle pieces. Each white circle will be appliqued to the red piece. So if you don't know how applique works, I'll just uh, demonstrate quickly. You can either do it by hand or on the machine. So I'll show you by hand. You'll just take your threaded needle and go starting on the back part. We'll go through the white. Now just go right across onto the red part. And then you'll just repeat that stitch until you're finished. So I've done all four pieces now, and just to show, just to show you, so this is, uh, I did it on my machine, and what you really should try to do is use some stabilizer on the bottom, so like this, just like paper stuff. It'll keep your fabric from getting wrinkled like this. So that's a good way to do your applique is just put this paper underneath and you can use some spray adhesive as well to uh, stick it to the paper. So I'm going to go ahead, this is just a tear away, so I'll just rip that off. And there's another kind of one here. So my four pieces are done now. And I'm going to just arrange them. Just make sure I like how the circles are arranged. Now that that's done, uh, these are all going to be sewn together. So I'm just gonna put two pieces right sides together like this and two pieces right sides together like this. I'm going to sew on this side and I'm going to sew this side. So I'll just pin that together. And 
and I will do straight stitch on my machine. Okay, I sewed these two parts together. So now they're going to be sewn to each other. I'm just going to line the two seams up, pin it, and then sew it. Now for the inside part, I'm going to use gray instead of white, but you can use uh, white if you want to. So I measured my head and took that and cut this long strip, which is going to be the opening part of the hat. Now this is fleece, so it's a little bit stretchy, so I just took about an inch and a half off my head measurement just so that it's not going to be super loose on my head. And then I'm going to be folding it in half. So I just added some extra material so that I can fold it in half. So the measurement of this strip is about 21 by three inches. So when you fold it in half, it becomes one and a half inch. Now I've sewn all four pieces together, and now I have to figure out the bottom part of the hat. So how I'm doing that is I take the strip that's going to go around my head and I'm going to place it in the middle here. Now I'm going to measure the outer diameter of the hat, which I already did measure it, and it's 22 inches. And then I'm going to measure from the inner circle here out to the edge. So that is about four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the outer strip. So I've cut the outer strip and I did 40 inches long and four and a half inches wide just so I have enough uh, seam allowance there. And I'm gonna go ahead and start attaching it. So what I've done so far is folded this piece in half. This is going to be the inner circle that goes uh, around my head. And this is the outer edge. So I went and found the halfway point and pinned the ends and I started gathering the wider band so I just did pleats like this and you can also sew this on your machine you can just sew one edge and pull the thread and that will also gather it but I wanted to do these pleats like this. So now I'm going to do this other side. Now I'm going to sew all of this together. Okay, I sewed all the pleats down, and I also closed the loop. Here's my hat top, and the bottom, 
And it's going to go together with the right sides facing each other. By the way, I'm using fleece, so I just used a straight stitch for everything, but you can also serge uh, all the seams together, especially if you're using a fabric that frays or is woven or something like that. Um, I actually would serge uh, my seams just so it looks nice on the inside, but my serger is not threaded right now, and I'm just too lazy to, to go and do it. So yeah, it's just gonna be underneath here anyway. No one's gonna see it, so I don't really care. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pin this and then sew it together all around the outside. 